10, 26, 20, 20. The VIX, the CBOE volatility index is related to the S&P 500. And it's a fear gauge. And we've had a big breakout here on this monthly level. And it's something that we look at. And one of the things I kept talking about is when that VIX was uh, setting up right around uh, 25, it just didn't want to ever break below it. And then today we had a big breakout. And this is what it looks like on a monthly level. The higher the fear indicator goes, then we'll get closer to a bottom. So what we're looking for on an intraday level in the fear indicator to put a bottom in the S&P 500 is to have a big shakedown and a big spike. And when you put bottoms in, you spike in fear and then fear drops big time. Now, let's take a look at it from a weekly level. This is the weekly breakout and we went up and we did and we had been consolidating here and the thing about it is 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 that you could see up here is where 37 or 3830 is up there and when the fear breaks out the S&P 500 index goes down markets go down when fear goes up it's invert. When we call a bottom, what do we do? We use this. And we do. So, we are right now considered a gap up. And when this fear indicator goes higher, that's where you get the higher volatility in the selling in the indexes, but in the S&P 500. And that's this big gap up today and that is a huge breakout and it is and that's another thing about volatility is when you see higher fear then there's more volatility that follows so we use the fear to buy good quality stocks that have made bottoms and we do so, when people sell out of fear, we are buyers, and we always are. And you just have to know which ones. That's not an issue. So, we know that. One of the things, though, that we do want to make very clear is there is more downside in volatility, as it says. So, once again, we're always watching the fear indicator called the VIX index. And people buy calls on the VIX if it's going to go higher. You can make a lot of money when the VIX is going to go higher. It doesn't go higher all that often. But when you do have market sell-offs, people buy it to hedge their portfolios. And they do. And, once again, working with the VIX for all these years is it's perfect time to let you know when the fear will be at that higher level and when the bottom will come into play. We're not a long ways away. We're a little ways away just because the volatility still has to play out and wash out the buyers. That's what bull markets do. Bull markets are famous for it, as we all know. Um, once again, I would love to develop a relationship with you moving forward. So why don't we do that? Get in the live trading room. And you'll be spending time with me every day in there. And that's where we go in and I give out the orders. And it will be a great time for you. It will be a new beginning. It will be a new change. And lots of things to be positive for. And lots of great things that will happen. And all you have to do is watch. That's all you got to do. Watch and ask questions. And that's not hard to do. And you can believe what you see. And you'll be happy. Because I promise you will be. And not only that. 
the biggest thing you'll be happy for, you will never view the market the way that you view it now. Your whole attitude about the market will change because what will be revealed to you will be very shocking, but you will learn it and that will be the best thing for you.